Hey guys, uh, 420 somewhere, 100 is here. Oops, and um, I'm here about this book I got out of a school library. It's called Marijuana in Your Lungs, The Incredibly Disgusting Story. Well, I was reading, and it says, Myths About Pop. It's not as bad for you as cigarettes. That's the subtitle, I guess. And it says, Saying that smoking marijuana isn't as bad as smoking cigarettes. It is not the same as saying that marijuana is good for you. It is clearly not good for you. In fact... It may cause even more damage than cigarettes because pot smokers hold the smoke in their lungs longer and because pot, like cigarettes, contains potentially cancer-causing ingredients, marijuana smoke damages your lungs just as any other smoke does. Well, take this for example. How many people that smoke cigarettes have died? Thousands? Millions, maybe. More like in the thousands, though. But, uh, do you know how many people have died from marijuana? None. No one has ever died. No medical record in the world at any hospital or clinic has anyone died. Now, it's not the same as saying someone smoked marijuana, and they also smoked cigarettes and died. That's not the same, because they smoke cigarettes. But it just, it gets me mad. It, and it even says, victims actually die by drowning when fluids from inside their bodies slip into their lungs and fill them up. That's supposedly... Marijuana opens up active glands, and it goes into your lungs and can kill you. Um, and basically, this is meant for little kids, so they're trying to get you guilty. So it says, oh yeah, how happy will you be when your parents are disappointed in you, or when your friends laugh at you because you did something stupid? How happy will you be if you get suspended or expelled from school or locked up in a detention center for juvenile offenders? How would you like to see your parents thrown in jail because you kept drugs in their house? All these things could happen if you use marijuana. Okay, your parents could get disappointed. But, just doesn't, does not make does not make sense. That could happen to you, but it rarely ever happens. Parents would still accept you. And then here it says, don't knock until you try it. It says, stoners will tell you it's not right for you to reject pot before you've tried it. A lot of kids fall for this line because their parents use the exact same method to get them to eat gross stuff, like vegetables or whatever. And you know your parents are tricking you, so you they're saying you fall for that too. Well, it's their fault if they try it. It's their fault if they get addicted. It's not anyone else's fault. It, it's just not anyone's fault. Um, that's really all this book says, but but definitely you guys look it up, and it's just doesn't. It's just I don't like it. It's called Marijuana in Your Lungs, The Incredibly Disgusting Story by Debbie Stanley, S-T-A-N-L-E-Y. Uh, there's a bunch of other titles in her series. Alcohol in Your Liver, Cocaine in Your Nose, Heroin in Your Veins, Marijuana in Your Lungs, Speed in Your Brain, Tobacco in Your Mouth. And she just tries to get kids not to do it, which I think is stupid. It's their own fault if they decide to do it. Um, 
but oh well these kids won't learn if they stay addicted all right well you guys comment rate subscribe and comment on what you think about this because I personally don't like it 420 somewhere 100 out